So we were at the river vault and we had a hundred dollars in fireworks left to go. And I told Kyle, but he couldn't drop fireworks into this thing of poop. Fell right in there. Now it smells like poop. <laughs> John, it's been like four weeks. What the heck have you been doing? I am sorry, but I did four weeks of pole vaulting camp, which was like eight to two, uh, four days a week until Thursday. And then every Friday I left for a meet, whether it was the US Champs, the Wisconsin River Vault, Winston-Salem Street Meet, or last week I was in Mexico. Ugh, it's too much, too much going on. Um, the next few vlogs will talk about that. So the first one will be the River Vault. So here we go. So, let's talk about the U.S. Champs. Or maybe we should not talk about the U.S. Champs. I didn't really film anything because I was so worried about getting my ankle feeling good. So I only filmed like two things. So the first thing I filmed, I snuck into the Nike tent with Riley. We got free food. I don't know if I was supposed to get free food, but they had arcade video games and I played with those too. And uh, Dr. Eric is always wanting to be in the vlog. and He's always giving me crap for not making the vlog enough. You don't make the vlog enough, Dr. Eric. Dr. Eric! Can't do it. Can't get you to stop talking, but once your camera's in your face. <laughs> what were you saying about Leslie Brost? Inappropriate. I inappropriate. You're like a kid who wants to be on camera really bad, and then when you finally are. As soon as the lights are on. Right? Little kid syndrome. That's what we're gonna call it. Little kid syndrome. So here's my two cents on the U.S. champs. Um, I can't believe I even made it down the runway with the way my ankle was feeling. I got down there and did the first kind of workout shakeout. And couldn't even jog. And then the second day I did my pre-meet with like four Advil in me. And could run, but it felt like I was running in sand on my whole right side. I don't know. The meet started the next day and... It was the first time I vaulted in like three weeks since Kentucky. In my first attempt I had a huge blow through at 540. And the next two attempts were, you know, just not good. They took off under. So that's how it goes. Just deleting that one from my brain. I probably shouldn't have even tried to jump with the way my ankle's feeling. It's over with now, and we just gotta move on. So the following weekend, I had the Wisconsin River Vault. I got there, and it was sweet. The vault runway was right on the river. There was a guy named Bill. Flying around in an airplane, showing off, and he even said goodbye with his wings. Here comes Bill. Kyle, Maybe Bill's this time he'll give us Bill. a one more wave. Hi, Thanks, Riverfest, for 20 great years of your He waved his wing. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Vertical climb. Pushes over the top here. Dang you, trees! And my two cents on street meets are they're fun, and they're supposed to be fun. And so it's just a way for the vaulters of the sport to promote the sport, because... Can we high five? We're gonna get chalky hands. Give me high tens. Yeah! Track and field is dying in the United States, and like these meets makes people want to try the event, you know? It makes it look fun. It doesn't matter how old you are, it just matters that you're vaulting and making it look cool and fun. So like, I'm at the back of the runway, and this little kid comes up to me and asks, Oh man, how do you fly? I just saw you fly. How do you fly? It looks like this kid's like five years old. I can't tell him the physics of the pole vault, he won't understand the physics of it! Right, so you got this pole, and you got this magic chalk, and when you put them together and run really fast, you end up flying. And so every time I even did a warm-up jump or a pole vault, the kid came up to me and goes, Can I have some of that magic chalk? And so I high-fived the kid on my like first attempt, and every attempt after that, a group of like kids came. And I had to high-five every little kid the whole way down. And I hope I turned them into pole vaulters through that. I won't lie, I was a little nervous. I didn't know how my ankle would hold up. I kind of woke up that morning and couldn't even walk. I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. I can usually hammer through it because I just like competing and like doing meets. It hurt. <laughs> It didn't feel good. I warmed up all right, and then at, I came in at 5.20 or 17.1. Made that on my first attempt. Yeah, there you go! At 5.35, I made it on my second attempt. Uh -huh. Get up! And then at 
550. Les was jumping at 14 feet, Leslie Brost, and I was jumping at 550, 18 1. And if I made that bar, I would have beat Leslie and won like the prize money, which I think was like a thousand bucks. If I didn't, Leslie made her previous bar in her first, so she would win. There was quite the little competition going on, let me tell you what. My whole goal again was just to get those five meter poles to work. In the US Champs, uh, I picked up two new five meter poles, um, a 15.3 flex and a 14.7 flex, so I could fill my gaps. Now I have a good five meter line in point three. Which is crazy. Never had a line like that before. For the first attempt, I jumped on a five meter, a 16.4. 15.7 and just blew through it. It was done. I shouldn't even try to jump on the pole. It was toast. On my second attempt, I grabbed that 15.3, which is the biggest pole I've ever jumped on in my entire life. Just wait a little longer. Yeah. And it felt small too, to be honest with you, which was awesome. But Leslie's still winning. She missed all three of her attempts at 14 feet. Here we come. Here she comes. Mulligan! I had one more attempt left to go, so I pushed the standards back and I grabbed that 15.3, 16.4. Length pull. How fast do you guys think he is? We'll see. Go, And it was small still too, <laughs> and the bar fell off. It felt small, and after talking to Steve and Caroline, they don't think it's small, they just think I'm vaulting stupid on it. So I'm not, we need to have a meeting, and we we're gonna have one of those and figure it out, because I'm sick of jumping 535. I'd like to be consistently jumping like 18.4 all the time and higher. As bummed out as I was about not winning the thing, I was so jacked for Leslie, because uh, the first time you ever win money doing pole vaults, I'm, I'm sure it feels the same way as if you wrote a song and you hear it on the radio for the first time. I just made money doing my sport. I didn't even know this could happen. I don't have to pay to do my sport. I made money doing my sport. You make $1,000 one time the whole year and the rest of the time you're paying to go to meets and things like that so it doesn't even balance out. You still lost a ton of money. You're still like, I just made money. And it, it keeps you hungry and that this is pretty cool. I can keep doing this. Congratulations, Leslie. I couldn't have... Lost to a better person, even though I hate losing and it hurts in my brain a little bit. But congratulations. Remember what that feels like. It'll keep you hungry. So if we're looking at the positives, overall it was a good meet. Um, I had a blast. My ankle was... Jacked and not happy, and it hurt the next four days after the meet. But uh, I got on those five meter poles again with a bum ankle, so that's cool. That was just one of my goals for the whole entire year was to get on those things, and I just did it again. Not at 100%, more like at like 70%. Hopefully I gave some kids the pole vault bug. Oh, my high fiver! Give, give him a high five! Yeah! Oh, that's really high. Oh, he did it. That was fast. How to win. Well, he's high. He's higher? Can you jump that high? Are you going to try? Are you? My mom said no. I Your am. mom said no? Yes. Yeah. I'll start. You guys got to fight for it. Because it's incurable. Once you have the pole vault bug, you have it forever. It's like herpes. I hate to say it. The pole vault bug is like herpes. Yeah, met a lot of cool people. Sold some shirts. So it was the first street meet. My on, mom and Carrie vlog. have been to. Kyle's down there too, helping me film some stuff. And Kyle's the best uh, videographer and picture taker I've ever met in my entire life. So he got some really cool <laughs> pictures and videos, which are a lot of the ones in this vlog. Yeah, I think Carrie had a lot of fun. They're a little more fun than sitting at a big long track meet all day and get to watch some pole vault. And uh, yeah, we stuck around and got to see some fireworks.
them. They're so much fun. They have fireworks. But then the next day we had the annual firework home run derby with me, Kyle, and Carrie. And my mom just spectated to make sure we didn't burn anything down. <laughs> Kyle, what'd you drop the firework on? I dropped an M80 and a nice fresh thing of turd. Redo <laughs> <laughs> it. No. Just say poop. Poo. <laughs> no, poop. -a. Poop. -a. <laughs> now it smells like poop. <laughs> Roman candle home run derby. Baseball bat. Got my eye protection. My goal is to not step in that or that or that or that. God, there's poop everywhere. I don't know if he's exploded or not. What is that, the big one? Yep. <laughs> Turn sideways to that. Here it goes. Three, two. Hey, mom. You better watch out for this one because I don't know how these are going to Should I shoot the first one? <laughs> what is this? Those are fast. <laughs> you want these up high? Those, those are fast. <laughs> We started out just by Kyle trying to hit me with these new fireworks he got. He didn't just get normal Roman candles, he decided to buy ones that blew up at the end. A little sketchy, since if it shot past you didn't know where it was and it would blow up. <laughs> over that way, I don't want this by my hit, Try and hit my arm. Watch out! No! <laughs> I hit a few, actually Kyle just hit me in the hands a few times. I just don't want to get hit in the mouth. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, right in my face. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I nailed Kyle on one of them. I hit him right in the hand. Ow. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> no, I'm fine. Just a little bruise. That hurt? A little bit. Where'd I hit you? Oh, it's singed. <laughs> <laughs> hit by pitch. Take right. your base. Try it again. <laughs> and he was freaking out because you can't control a Roman candle all the time. Sometimes they shoot straight, sometimes they go into the dirt and bounce, and he was getting mad at me because it kept bouncing because I'd rather have him hit the ground and hit him in like the nuts or something instead of shoot over his head. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> Scoot closer, you fucker! And Carrie was just Carrie, like. <laughs> Bang! Don't be scared. <laughs> Get it! Yeah! Get it! I don't know where that one went. Get it! <laughs> Get it! Probably like my favorite part of the whole thing was I was shooting fireworks at Kyle and then all of a sudden like it was like little 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 big 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 but uh this time it went like little 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 big 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 <laughs> and blew up about two feet from me and Carrie. It just kind of went Bleh. Uh, nobody wins the home run derby, but we all have a lot of fun, and we all had some burns on our necks and things from it. <laughs> Don't do it at home, please. 
because I will get in trouble probably from your parents. So that's it for the River Vault. Next week, or this week, if I can make two this week, I will make the Winston-Salem Street Meat. I want to make two. So, I'll do that. The Brits Pub Vault. I got this cool shirt. Boop. Brits Pub Vault is August 30. We are vaulting on a roof. In downtown Minneapolis. Two more meets, and then I finally get to rest. Training 11 months straight is destroying me, and I'm getting tired and hurt. <laughs> but like always, please subscribe to this YouTube channel right here. This over here. This YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe to me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you would like, because sometimes I post some funny stuff on there. My name on Twitter and Instagram is Sean Danger Hoot. Because Danger is my middle name. If you want to be a part of Team Hoot, all you have to do is buy a jersey and a shirt, and then just go to meets. Wearing Team Hoot stuff. And if you want to get those, um, you can go to Zazzle.com slash Sean Danger Hoot. I'm going to be constantly adding more stuff on there, but check it out. Um, and last but not least, everyone should check out PoleVaultParadise.blogspot.com. It's cool. There's some high school kids I met in Reno that have decided to make their own pole vault website. And there's all sorts of cool information on there, what it's like to be um, a pole vaulter, especially in high school. And they're always looking for people to join or help write articles. So if you're into that kind of thing, check them out and shoot them an email. I love you guys. There will be more vlogs soon, I promise. Okay, bye. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Segway, segway, I am on a segway. Segway, 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 hey. Whoa, wrong way. <laughs> First wipe out of the day. Y'all dead. Hi, I'm on a segway. Oh. I might need to purchase one. Why'd they think these were gonna replace walking?